Welcome back to Sunster Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play Defentron. Now this is a 3D tower defense game, it's kind of like a retro graphic style. So let's start straight in the beginning. I already played this but we'll do it together just so we can see. So up on the top you've got your energy and you can place... Interesting. So actually when you start this game you actually don't have this second slow tower you only have the normal one and as you sort of play through the game you unlock but what's interesting is that the unlocks seem to um, sort of be persistent between levels so you can go back and redo the levels with the new tower which i think is quite cool so that's pretty interesting uh, typically you have it like based on a level but you can uh, you can kind of come back and go to previous level and be like you know what I actually want to use this new tower, but we're gonna do it the way it's supposed to do it, so without the... Alright, so we got three star. Let's jump to level two. In this level, they teach you that you can upgrade your towers, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna... You can upgrade in different areas, so you can either upgrade for range, or for power, or for rate of fire. The range, unfortunately, is not really showing you, like, how far the range is going to increase. And then you can, all, of course, speed up and pause the game however much you like. And every time you kill this thing, you gain points, which you can use to build new towers. If your health gets to zero, it's game over. So it's not like if one enemy gets in, it's a game over, you have to lose all of your health. You know, just the typical rules of a tower defense game, nothing too complicated. And I'm gonna say, I'm really excited to play tower defense because it's been a while since we played one on this channel. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, I miss them. I love tower defenses, they're great games. I want to program one once, but I was told it's not difficult enough, it's cool. <laughs> it's actually true, we're supposed to do like a really big program, I was like, can I make tower defense? I was like, no, no, you have to do something more comfortable. I'm like, come on, it's not easy, but you know. And it's not easy, but like for school they would allow you to do like a really, really bad one. But it, it was mostly, the problem was that it wasn't considered like a science enough, you know, like it didn't bring a contribution to the world or whatever. I don't know, I just wasn't allowed to do it. Alright, so we can right click and drag to move the camera. And we can reset the camera view if you wanted to. So, okay, so we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna start over here. We're gonna start with the slowing tower here at the beginning. And then we'll go with the normal tower because that's exactly how many points we've got. And we'll see how it goes. We'll go normal one. It slows them kind of... Ooh, okay. We didn't do so hot here. You would need to increase, I think maybe increase the firing rate of this slowing tower. Actually, let's just place another normal tower just to be sure. And now we'll try, we'll try to increase uh, the firing rate of it. But it should be able to slow it a bit more often. Good, and then here we'll upgrade the strength of these. Give ourselves some power-ups. Have you lost two lives, which is not ideal. But, I mean, could have done better, you know. We'll put power-ups on all of these. We could also increase the range on this particular tower. Uh, also, maybe range on this one. How much does the range... It does help, but it doesn't ha didn't help like crazy amounts. Also, we could increase the fire rate of this one. You can shoot a bit more often. Now, what we, we can actually sell towers, so we can like try to resell and then upgrade these other ones. But I think we should be able to do it. Yeah, we might have like one star. Yeah, could have been done better. Right, let's go. Overload. You now have the power to overload turrets. Tremendously boost turrets power for a few seconds. Turret is destroyed afterwards. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. So we'll start with the regular. We could have a slowing tower here and a re then regular tower there. Maybe I shouldn't have placed the slowing tower immediately because we might need a normal tower after, but... Okay, nice. Then <laughs> we get lucky on that one. But as soon as we disturb, we gotta play no place a normal tower here because that was... Okay, let's place a normal one. Yeah, we should be able to handle it. Great. Now, we could increase... I think we're gonna increase the power rate of this one. Massive damage boosts consumed turrets. Uh, do we want to do that right now? I don't think we want to do it just yet. Probably want to do it soon, but maybe not right this second. I think, yeah, we can place another normal one here. Yeah, I think for maybe like the next set of enemies, we'll try to overpower something. 
Okay, we could we could increase the power up here and possibly pass the rate here. Speed it up. Yeah, we're doing fairly okay. I do want to show you the overload though. We might want to overload like the slumming tower. That sounds like a fun thing to do. Yeah, let's overload it. Yeah, so it's gonna like super slow everything. And then get the start. So now we can place a new one. I don't know. I mean, I think it's it, I think it's beneficial if you have like a strong enough enemies, because then you get the credits back essentially from like immediately killing the enemies. <laughs> the little background laughter. That's great. <laughs> and let's do a normal one, slowing one. Let's, we I, I gotta learn to not place the slowing ones this early, but you know what? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, this was not ideal. This was a bad decision. But we made it. We'll try to maybe increase the range of this. Actually, no, we should just make it faster. Slow, to slow other things faster. Then we could increase the range of some of these other towers. Yeah, that'd probably make more sense. Which one is... Yeah, this one is range. So now you've got to... Well, actually, it didn't increase the range too much. And here we want to increase, like, the... The, the rate of cards. And we'll do a new one there. And this is not going... We, we might need to overload this. Ah, it still wasn't enough. I thought it would be enough, but it wasn't. Let's increase the speed of this. We gotta power up our stuff. We're not doing as hot as I thought we would be. The overload is interesting. I never know like when is it a good decision to overload. But it's definitely an interesting idea. And this is the last way. So for example here it would be a good idea to use the overload. Because you're not gonna need this anyway. Like we could overload right about now. Make it super strong. Great. Yeah, so on the last wave, that might be a time to do overloads. What do we've got now? Access gain. You now have access to the motherboard, uh, the, the gateway to the web. Okay, the motherboard. Let me now jump to a new world. Let's go to level 6 here. Play. Alright, we'll start with normal tower. That's the only thing we can do. And I think a slowing tower here and another normal tower here is probably going to be a good decision. We'll probably have to do another normal one first. Oh, this is interesting. There's really no way for us to do anything else here. Oh, I guess we should have overloaded. Ooh, interesting. So the idea was that we actually have to overload, it seems. That's certainly an interesting decision. I wouldn't expect that. Yeah, we're dead. We'll try this again. We try this one. So we'll start here, because it has a better range. And once it gets the enemies, I guess we'll overload? Overload? Yeah, that seemed to be the way to go. Now, if we place two now, will we still have to overload? I think so. That's a really interesting concept. You actually have to overload in order to make it work. Super interesting. I, I, I kind of like it, honestly. We'll overload again, I think, right about now. We might need to do another overload. Actually, we might not. We'll see. Yeah, I don't think we need to do another one here. Good. Okay, we're gonna place a slowing tower here. And then we might try to do some power-ups. I wonder if maybe there's a... Yeah, let's try to power-up this one. 
And then maybe this one as well. Oh, that was a bad decision with the power up because we can't hit the enemies. The last one. But yeah, the overlap feature is very, very cool. I like that a lot. That's kind of awesome. All right, let's do, let's increase the fire rate over here. You can also see, by the way, on the bottom here, like what kind of, like this this blue thing means that you've given it like the upgrade. All right, well, start with regular one. Probably gonna be another overload type of thing. We'll see. Okay, maybe not. Maybe just like a fast, slow alternating. We'll see. Yeah, I think this might be able to handle it without. Okay, we're gonna have to place another one here. I was gonna place the slowing one, but I, I, I couldn't. Uh, okay, we're gonna need to overload this. If we don't want to lose, we're gonna have to. Okay, but let's place a slowing one. Speed it up and then we'll have a regular one here. Or here. Doesn't really matter where. Another normal. Yeah, I think we'll be alright here. I don't I don't wanna do another overload that thing, because I will lose with the tower again. Yeah, this is gonna be okay. Now, there seems to be a lot of space under this tower, so presumably you will be doing a lot of power-ups. Like, presumably you can get up to five power-ups of the same type. So what I would assume is that in future levels, you will do a lot of those. Let's do overload here, just to make sure we get some good health. And let's do a normal one, and we'll do a power-up here, and a slowing tower. Another okay, we'll increase, we'll speed this one up. I'm trying to decide, like, I don't want to pay 200 for an upgrade. Whoa, this is an interesting thing. So, we have to destroy the shield essentially in order to be able to do some damage to it whatsoever. That was cool. All right, three stars. Like I said, I really miss, I love tower defenses so much. It's really nice to come back to them. Like, you're all like deck builder star. I mean, like all strategy games. Obviously, I would advise I would make a channel for strategy games. But, uh, tower defenses are just like, you know, always want to come back to those because they're super fun. And also, like, what I like about them as well is they, didn't, they don't require that much, uh, like, thinking. Because, like, you know, if you play war games or, like, grand strategy games, there tend to be a lot of rules that you need to learn about every single game. And with tower defense, you can just relax, you know, like if you had a long day, you can just like... You know the rules, they're not that difficult to learn, and it's just, it's just fun. But then you get these extra features like overload, and suddenly you're like, you know, like, do I want to overload, do I not want to overload, and that makes them fun. I, I like them, and I like this one a lot, I think, it, it's not like the most comp- we have, we have had played so far a lot more complicated tower defenses. But, but I like how it's, you know, like, it's retro, it's fun, love the music, it's, you know, it's, it's a good tower defense, I like it. I like it. Alright, what do we want to upgrade? Let's do some power-ups here. And also here near the sort of slowing tower. Overload, do we want to do overload on the shield? We could. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Place a normal tower there and another here. I hope we can actually destroy the shield thing, because it's not... Yeah. I was gonna say, it's not as easy as it looks. Uh, maybe we do some more power-ups upgrades, I think. Or actually, yeah, but one, one before the last. We might need to do some more overloads. Let's do a power-up here, and here we'll do an overload. Try to get as much on these special ones as we can. Yeah, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay, no problems. This is a really good one. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite tower defense that you've played so far. If you're gonna get a double, double power up here, I think it's gonna be. Really good. I'm quite excited to see how strong they're gonna be. 
So normal is 2 damage, with the 1 power up it's 3 damage. And with this it's 5 damage, so that's actually quite good. Do we want to overload? We actually might need to overload. Yeah, we're gonna overload here. Just to get some really good points. Place a new one and immediately overload. We'll overload this one as well. Mm, we didn't make it in time. Okay, we lost a bit. Yeah, that, that was a mistake. We've been doing pretty well, but I was like, focused on talking and... Ooh, blast. This threat is slow to fire, but deals a lot of damage to a single target and also splash damage to other viruses around it. That's interesting. So we'll start with this... Oh, it's 350 though. I guess we'll start with it. We'll see if that was like... Because typically when they want... Because typically they want you to do it. But it might be a terrible decision, I don't know. Yeah, okay, but let's place a normal one here. And another here. Make sure we can get those points. And we'll speed it up a bit. I like that though. So this with the slowing tower would presumably be quite useful. But it costs a lot of points. To get to it. I'd like to place one more somewhere here. 350. And I do, I'm curious what it's gonna look like when it's overloaded. No, 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 no. Normal one. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we made it. Okay. <laughs> like, I've gotta slow down the time because if I go in fast and be like overloading and things like that. Let's do a slowing one here. Gotta increase the range on the slowing tower so that it can affect some of the splashes. Increase the range. And then it will do some power-ups on these normal ones. Okay, we're gonna need to overload, I think, for these special ones. Overload. That did not help as much as I thought it would. Let's overload here. Uh, and we can place a new one over there. And here. We'll probably overload this one as well, just to be 100% sure that we can destroy that. We can place it back. And we could... Are they actually gonna power up some of the other ones here? Nice. Actually, I think we're gonna end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write it on the comments and you can click on the right towards some other tower defenses. I'll see you there. Bye-bye!